Hey Terror Tribe, it's Dustin from A Modern Metaphysic Man, and today I thought we could hang out and take a trip through the Wizard's Tarot. This is a newly released deck by Llewellyn, and I have to admit that I've been really excited for this one, mostly because um, the old Wizard's Tarot, uh, which was not plural wizards, but possessive wizards, um, there was an apostrophe. It's a really beautiful deck, but it's out of print and it's been really hard to get a hold of. Um, and when I saw this was coming out, I was like, oh, I'll just wait for this because it kind of has the same vibe. Um, and the whole kind of premise behind this, as uh, you'll see in the book, is it's kind of based off of like all of those classic sort of wizardy Harry Potter kind of, you know, the magicians kind of... Um, concepts and stories and things like that that's where it takes a lot of its inspiration from so it's 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 not as uh on the it's not on the hard serious side as a lot of the decks that i i review and look at are um but it's a really cool deck and i'm excited to share it with you as always down in the description box below you'll find links to all of my social media where you can reach out and connect with me as well as uh, links to where you can find out more about this deck, its creators, and where you can pick up a copy for yourself. So be sure to click that little down arrow after the video and check all that out. And if you enjoy this video, please, please, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and like, share, and subscribe it. I really appreciate it um, and it really helps the channel out. So yeah, let's dive into this. As you can see, it comes in a standard Llewellyn um, box, which has that classic magnetic closure, um, which is a nice, I enjoy these boxes, they're nice. Um, nothing crazy on the back, there's just sort of a, a brief description with uh, some examples of the cards. It does include a 70 um, card deck with a 244 page full color book um, and all kinds of great stuff there. Um, on the inside, there is some lovely, lovely, beautiful art. The art in this deck reminds me of the 90s, and I love that. <laughs> um, but yes, more on that later. Um, so it does come with a, a, a guidebook, which is a nice, big, chunky guidebook with full page uh, color illustration, which is really cool. So uh, there's... And they break everything down. Actually, they order things uh, numerologically instead of by the suits, which is kind of interesting. Um, but there's some there's some good stuff in here. Um, there's not you know there's nothing any there's not really anything mind blowing when it comes to um, reading the cards. But there's some really cool modern interpretations of the cards in here, which is really interesting. In the back here, you'll find some spreads, which is really great. We have your classic sort of um, Celtic cross spread, three three card spread. Um, there is uh, the true magic spread, which I think is, is a unique one for this. So kind of cool new one to check out the alchemical spread. Um, so yeah, there's some cool stuff back here to check out. There's a chapter on the magical path, which talks a little bit about um, looking at the fool's journey in the context of you know uh being a, a person who practices magic which is which is really cool so it's a great little book um i really love the quality uh of these books that llewellyn has been putting out they are fantastic especially now that they're in color it's awesome i mean look at how good that is um so inside you have this crappy tray which i hate Dear Llewellyn, if you're watching, please stop giving us these crappy trays. They suck. Uh, I've gotten a lot of decks recently that have foam inserts here, which I know is not as good for the environment, um, but it's very good for storing things. And because I don't plan on throwing it into a landfill, it's okay. Um, but these are just, they're not sturdy and cards tend to slide under. It does have a nice uh, lift out and there's nice artwork on the bottom, but I don't know, this just still feels cheap to me. Um, but that's the box. And storing your deck in this, I like honestly, if if there if there was a, a box inside of this box that I could put in here that I could keep my cards in externally of this, that would be even better. But this is like almost useless to store the deck in because I don't I can't just throw this in my bag right like 
<laughs> drives me nuts. Okay, so onto the cards. Um, as you can see, we have these lovely, lovely card backs. They are wonderful. Uh, the cards are a standard tarot size, so if we grab a RWS card, exactly the same. They are the standard Wellen cardstock, which this one feels a little thicker than they normally do, but it's still that kind of semi-gloss, as you can see, um, and it's still pretty pretty bendy, but it's not bad. I mean, it's it's honestly not bad. Um, so the cardstock's nice, the backs are beautiful. So let's do our flip through, and we will come back and talk about the cards that stand out to us and what we think about using um, the deck and, and reading with it and stuff. So this is the Wizard's Tarot. Thank you. 
So that is the Wizard's Tarot. As you can see, the artwork in it is absolutely gorgeous. The backs are beautiful. They are not reversible. I did forget to mention that earlier. So if reversals are important to you, non-reversible backs um, could be an issue. Um, but they are beautiful, beautiful cards. They fan amazingly well because of the finish on them. I personally enjoy this finish. I know a lot of people don't. I also really enjoy like very matte finishes as well. Um, this deck, it, like it screams 90s, like late 90s, uh, early 2000s to me when it comes to like the art style and kind of just the, you know, the depiction of things. I don't know why, it just, it really does. It very much follows the RWS um, system, as you can tell. Um, and there are some very modern takes on some of these cards, right? Um, you can see a lot of very modern references which is which is cool i think it's great um it's sometimes i feel like choices were made artistically for the sake of making a pretty picture as opposed to having significant symbolism or meaning for the card um while, while other times i don't feel that way at all right um so you know there's but it's it's a it's a beautiful deck um it's really great I've done a few readings with it now, and you know it has uh, almost a you know a sort of a uh, like very clear, almost I want to say like teen uh, novel kind of feel to it when I'm reading to, reading it. Um, but yeah, some of the cards that really kind of stood out to me uh, while using the deck, right? We have the the Four of Pentacles, which you know is the you know holding on too close to your resources kind of card i love this idea of like this locked up like you know pantry of of stuff right all of my goods and it's you know the door has like chain and padlock a normal lock and then it has all these extra locks down here you know which is which is interesting i just thought that was a really clever depiction of that card um I love this Four of Cups, you know, the expression on his face just is the Four of Cups to me. I adore this Ten of Swords. Anyone who has any kind of classic academic background has woken up in the library feeling like this after you maybe procrastinated a little too long or you just have that sense of self-defeat where you're like, I'm just not getting what I'm supposed to get out of my studies or, you know, the class. Um, the Ten of Wands to me was really interesting because uh, it doesn't have the the burden feeling, like the physical burden feeling that you get in a lot of other decks. Um, and in a sense, it almost celebrates those burdens because they crown him. Like you can you can feel the burdens of his life in his face, right, in the character's face. And I thought it was just really fascinating and a really interesting uh, kind of twist on the card to have those burdens crown him, right, as, as an achievement, right? And I just thought that was really cool. The Eight of Cups, a great little Eight of Cups of kind of just leaving things behind. Um, the Three of Wands I thought was just really kind of wonderful um, depiction of that. Uh, the aces in this deck are like some of my favorites. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, they're just gorgeous. They're so beautiful. I just really enjoyed them. I also really liked Judgment in this deck. Um, the coffins and but the like white dresses and, and the owl in this like ethereal place. It's just a really cool take on that. I thought the moon was really interesting, um, not only because of its traditional moon symbology, but because of like the giant sort of um, crustacean in it, which just kind of takes the symbolism to a different place because now that is like the predominant symbol in the card, which is just, you know, it's an interesting take, uh, one might say on that. But the rest of the cards, you know, they follow very traditional RWS sorts of 
uh, icon iconography and imagery there's lots of lotuses lots of modern sort of uh you know new age kind of symbolism in it which i think is really cool the magician is fantastic you know he looks pretty cool um but they're all you know they're all very um very modern takes on the classic RWS. The Fool I really found interesting as well because of the fact that the feather and the rose have been dropped and she's sitting on the edge of the cliff instead of walking off of it. So she's very aware of the cliff. Um, and I just thought that was a very interesting take on the card itself, uh, compared to the, the 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 haphazard, you know, fool kind of just you know striding off the cliff without batting an eye. Um, all of the court cards are great. I th I love the fact that there are male and females depicted in the knights and the pages. Um, I thought that was a really clever um, thing to do. I really appreciated that. Um, and yeah, I just, I think it's a really beautiful modern simple deck. This, I think this would be a really great deck for beginners. Um, I think it's very approachable. I think, you know, it's not full of esoteric symbolism and things like that. There, there are nods to it here and there, and it does follow very much the RWS system. So I think it'd be a really good deck for beginners. I really enjoy it. Um, I actually think this will be a deck that I use, uh, when I read publicly um because i think it's very approachable um and yeah i can't wait to work with it more if you have this deck uh let me know what you think about it in the comment section below or if it's a deck that you want let me know uh why you would like it uh, i would love to hear what your thoughts are on this beautiful beautiful deck um and yeah thank you all so much for coming to hang out with me and check out the new wizards tarot um and Remember, if you enjoyed the video, to give it a like, a share, and a subscribe. All of the links for where you can pick up this deck and connect with me on social media and even book a personal reading with me are down in the description box below. So be sure to check all that out. And as always, remember, everyone is fighting a battle that you know nothing about. So be kind, always. Bye, everybody.